Hi everyone and welcome to episode 44. This episode has everything to do with wheels, drive wheels, idler wheels and road wheels for Das Werks T72M. In the previous episode we added some fender damage to the hull, we added the, uh, the driver's hatch as well as small detail pieces like the antenna and uh, we're now ready to move on to the wheels but first a word from the sponsor. Folks, this video has been made possible by Supernova Studio and uh, whether you're on your desktop or your mobile, do head on over to their website. This kit is for sale uh, on the Supernova Studio website and uh, please stay tuned because at the end I'll be supplying you with a promo code where you can uh, purchase the uh, kit at a discount. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this uh, video is all about wheels, road wheels, idler wheels and drive wheels. The step, first step being to assemble the, uh, the road wheels themselves and uh, also to get them ready for paint and for that I'm placing them on these, uh, these sticks uh, just to make it easier to handle them while I'm painting them. First step as always, apply primer, in this case my go-to primer from Vallejo, the, uh, the matte black primer. This is uh, sprayed onto the parts and uh, there you can see, love the results that I'm getting with uh, this, uh, this primer from Vallejo. Next up I'm going to add some pre-shading, for that I'm using pure white, also from, uh, from Vallejo, from the Model Air range of paints. This is now applied to the, the center sections, the hub sections of the wheels, uh, with my Iwata airbrush. So set the, uh, the air pressure down low and uh, spray a lighter section in the uh, center of each wheel. Now dried paint is very easy to remove from the, uh, the airbrush needle, simply use a cotton bud and some water or, or airbrush cleaner and uh, routinely clean the, uh, the tip of the airbrush needle and you'll be able to continue doing uh, precision work with your airbrush. Also added some white tones to the, uh, the center of the, these drive wheels, just some, some color contrast. Of course we'll be applying the base color. Uh, on, on all these wheels. This is just pre-shading at this stage. The base color I'm using is Iraqi Sand from the model color range from Vallejo. This is uh, carefully sprayed over the, the, the pre-shading and uh, also remember the back, the back of each wheel. Won't be visible underneath the tank but still it needs to be uh, properly painted. The same color is also applied to the, uh, the idler wheels as well as the drive wheels in this case. Be careful not to, not to kill the pre-shading. Uh, you need a very light uh, coat of paint on these wheels. The highlight color is ivory, also from uh, Vallejo. And this is very carefully spread in the center section of each wheel, just to, just to lighten the uh, the, uh, the, the hub section of the wheel and uh, this will also contribute to uh, some color contrast. These are these uh, center hub sections, they get the same treatment, first the base color very lightly applied with the airbrush and uh, then the highlight color ivory uh, applied just to, the, just to the center section, those round sections uh, of each uh, hub. Now to mask off the, uh, the wheels, I'm going to use my compass cutter. You'll recall that I've done this in uh, previous videos as well. Uh, the first thing we'll need to do is uh, just to measure uh, each wheel. And uh, using the compass cut is very, very easy. It's just uh, taking that measurement and dividing it by two. Uh, once I have that uh, measurement, I can set my uh, compass cutter accordingly. There we go, something like that. Next I use 40 millimeter masking tape from Tamiya, we all know this and love it. And uh, just lightly place the adhesive side on a piece of plastic, Any, or it, can, it, it can be cardboard, anything else that you can cut. And uh, I now cut a disc with the, uh, with the compass cutter. More or less something like that. There we go. 
and uh, this can now be uh, removed with the uh, with a hobby knife and uh, just peeled from that uh, plastic backing there we go that's now ready to go onto the wheel itself just to mask off the uh, the painted uh, center sections of every wheel with this done I can now move on to uh, paint the uh, the rubber section of the road wheels for this I'll be needing a, a ice cream stick similar to this as well as double-sided tape it took me a while to find the correct double-sided tape but Supernova Studio does sell the correct type it leaves no sticky residue uh, on any of the parts so uh, that's something worth considering these wheels are now in position and ready to uh, take some tire black paint from Vallejo. This is the color I'll be using for the uh, for the road wheels. Using my Supernova Studio uh, Ninja airbrush and uh, just uh, covering the uh, the rubber sections uh, with paint. This is a role that the uh, the Ninja is uh, very well suited to as a general area coverage uh, airbrush. There we go, very happy with that. That is the uh, the sprayed wheels. And uh, I can now go ahead and uh, just remove these masks. You'll notice there's a small ring around each uh, each wheel around, around the, uh, the side. And uh, that is something we'll be touching up uh, by hand. The progress thus far, certainly happy with that. Now using a number one, or this is either one or zero size brush, and uh, I now use some uh, some more Vallejo tire black uh, just to paint in the uh, the side of the of that road wheel. Next up a wash. Now in this case I'll be using Africa Core Wash from uh, Ammo MIG. This is of course an enamel product so it can be thinned with odorless thinner. Now there are alternatives. Supernova Studio sells this. It's a washable agent and this will allow you to turn any acrylic paint into a wash color. Certainly something worth considering. In this case however I'm going to use the, uh, the enamel wash uh, straight from the bottle thin it a little bit with odorless thinner and this is now carefully applied to all the uh, recessed details all those bolts as well as the uh, the interior ring of each uh, uh, wheel hub as well as the center sections of all the road wheels and really this will just nicely outline the, the molded detail on those parts I do something similar on the uh, on the drive wheels just all those bolts, all the all the raised and recessed detail. Uh, this will certainly complement the uh, the paint that we already have on that wheel. I usually give this uh, an hour or so to dry, and then once it's dried, it's very easy to just remove the excess with uh, with paper towel. And uh, if you can't reach it with paper towel, you can also use a cotton bud, and uh, just wipe away the uh, the excess wash color. And once you're done, you can clearly see the uh, the nice effect that I'm getting at the center of that wheel. Next up is dry brushing. I've showed you this technique quite a few times. I'll be using a uh, deck tan from uh, Vallejo, as well as some cash register paper. This stuff can be uh, bought in bulk from uh, some stores, and uh, I'll be using uh, the paper to uh, to put the uh, the paint on. Remember to shake your paints properly. Uh, they've been standing for a while. All you need is a, is a small amount of paint. And uh, again, my uh, my dry brush brush. This one being from Ammo MIG. And uh, the trick here is to have as little paint as possible uh, on, the, on the bristles. Now for some reason, um, dry brushing gets a bad rap, and I don't know why, perhaps because some modelers overuse the technique. Personally, I can't see myself building a model without dry brushing some detail, and uh, it's a technique that, that, that's really well suited to bring out small details, and you can see the results here. 
um, certainly happy with uh, with uh, the uh, the finish that I got. With all this this artwork done, it's time to protect it. And in this case, I'm using a, a micro flat from Micro Scale. This is a superb uh, varnish and also a uh, protective layer. The final step is to add some some metal chipping and uh, just some metal shine to the edges. And for this, I'm using uh, two things. First, being uh, some some graphite uh, powder. You can also get this from uh, a pencil if you uh, shave some of the, the, the graphite off a pencil. Uh, in this case, I've got the powder, so it's easy just to apply this with a cotton bud to uh, all the edges uh, of the, especially the, 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 the drive wheels. And uh, I'm also using a stick of graphite from AK to uh, do the necessary detailing. And there we go guys, that is the result. The wheels are ready to go on, onto, the, uh, onto the hull. They've been painted and fully detailed and uh, I'm certainly loving the, the look that I have on, uh, on these wheels. Of course, I'll be adding some, uh, some more weathering, some more detail at a later stage when the, uh, the hull has been painted. If you go to the Supernova Studio website, you can purchase this kit. And uh, if you use the promo code off the sprue, you'll be getting an instant discount. Uh, these are the colors that I used, all the uh, all the Vallejo paint colors, as uh, as well as some of the other some well as the other items. Guys, and that's it for episode 44. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you're curious to uh, follow the progress of this build, do join me on Instagram. I post regular updates there, and uh, I promise you won't miss a thing. Thank you for, for watching this video and please join me for the, for the next one in this series.